Three, please. By the indulgence of the Senate and leave of the, of the President of the Senate, a senator may make a personal explanation, although there be no question before the Senate, but no controversial matter may be brought forward, nor may, be, may debate arise thereupon. Uh, Mr. President, this is the order I come. Okay, you may go ahead, please. Thank you, Mr. President. Exactly one week ago, the Senate resolved that one week exactly today, the Senate resolved that the Committee on Banking and Financial Institutions should come forward today to report on the inquiries that it was mandated to make of the new policy of the central bank on uh, withdrawal limits. Um, and the committee was specifically requested to interrogate these issues based on the concern that was expressed in the chamber. candidates came for clearance and the issues we have thoroughly you know asked them in, especially in the opening address of the chairman he specifically reported that the senate had requested that these two deputy governors who are currently serving and seeking reappointment should elaborate and explain the the rationale behind this uh, policy uh, in in view of the massive public uh, reaction to the to that policy and the the governors the deputy governors uh, gave very elaborate explanation and the committee actually requested for the committee also requested for further evidence in terms of documented reports that will enable the committee to fully understand the issues behind this policy and be able to brief the, the plenary appropriately. Uh, unfortunately, this report is not ready today because the, the chairman of the committee is busy on political assignments in Kaduna. Uh, he had to receive uh, important party officials in the presidential train. And he has asked me to, to offer this explanation to the plenary that he is coming tomorrow to actually present the formal report of the findings of the committee. This is an apology uh, from the committee that is not able to take the report as directed last week. Thank you, Mr. President. Well, thank you very much, colleagues. We will all recall that last week, like um, he said, we asked or directed our committee on banking to during the screening of the deputy uh, governors for the CBN, specifically ask what the rationale or the policy on cash withdrawal limits are due to concerns expressed here by our colleagues because many of us, if not all of us, have received calls or even had visits from our constituents to express their fears, their concerns about this policy. We at that time felt that it was going to be better. We have an engagement with CBN so that we're able to hear from the horse's mouth and then go ahead and debate it or whatever appropriate action uh, we may need to take. In addition to what he said, the All Progressive Congress APC is today holding a zonal rally hosting the presidential uh, candidate of the party in Kaduna. All the seven 
states will be converging in Kaduna. And you know that our chairman of banking is a gubernatorial candidate of Kaduna State. And naturally, we shouldn't expect him to be here at this time. Because he needs to be there. But we also felt that we should hear from him, the chairman. The, he told me the report is ready, but he would like to be here to present the report tomorrow. And on the basis of the report that he presents tomorrow, then we can take the next appropriate line of action. Is that okay? Thank you. Yes, Senator Mamar Adamu Bilkachua. Mr. President, whether it is okay to defer this discussion until tomorrow, you didn't do that. So my objection is, I think we shouldn't allow this thing to be swept under the carpet. It's a very serious issue. Nigerians are waiting to hear exactly what uh, the National Assembly will do. The House of Representatives have asked the, uh, uh, my, um, the governor of the Central Bank to uh, stay action on this, but he, as usual in his typical character, he is being stubborn. And I think delaying it until tomorrow is giving him another chance. And uh, we don't want to hear another excuse. So I urge this Senate to discuss this thing today and now. Thank you. Well, thank you very much. Uh, I meant that was the ruling. Because that was the... Uh, the uh, the majority appeared to agree with that. Secondly, I don't think it's fair to say that we are sweeping this under the carpet. It's not fair to say that. Because my understanding of sweeping something under the carpet is to avoid it. Nobody here suggests by any action or inaction that we are sweeping or avoiding uh, discussing this thing. I think it's appropriate that we give our colleague, the chairman of the committee, the opportunity to come and present. He himself, and the Senator Adetumbi is a member of the committee. The vice chairman of the committee is here, the chief with himself. They were all in attendance. They have something to tell us, but the chairman wants to present the report himself. When he presents the reports, we'll be better informed. Then we can take the next appropriate action. I don't, I don't think that is too much to ask. Tomorrow is less than 24 hours, by the grace of God. So please, um, uh, the Sungu Senator Adam Amarabukachua, we are taking this thing, the report from the chairman tomorrow, and I want you to be present so that if there is anything we feel strongly, all of us, all of us here feel strongly about this, because that's what our concerns feel about. So we, we cannot just uh, neglect it, but if we are going to debate it, let us do it on the basis of information, because that's when we can argue to say no, stop it, because of spiritual argument. So I, I, I think we shouldn't doubt uh, our sincerity here. Thank you very much. Leader of the Senate.